October 18, had some blood poisoning, went into the QEH, to the wonderful Unit 3. Amazing people. Couldn't work out why I was I had the blood poisoning, swelling in both legs, couldn't walk, couldn't do anything. And then one morning I woke up and there was a Dr. Costa standing at the bottom of my bed saying, oh, we found a tumor on your kidney. And uh, we're pretty certain it's cancer and we need to get it out. June 2023, I uh, had a colonoscopy and we found cancer on my bowel. Suddenly I, I was back into the system of having cancer again. My family have been everything to me. They are everything to me. And I think that's probably the toughest part, is telling my wife and my kids both times. My immune system after the blood poisoning and then the cancer operation and my CURP level, my infection level being so high, my immune system really took a hammering. My lungs collapsed, my immune system collapsed. Dr. Harris Ease, incredible pulmonologist and the asthma clinic at QEH picked me up again. Uh, along with my family doctor, uh, Paul Kuzak, who was amazing all the way through this, and were able to get me a monthly injection, which enables me to be able to get up and breathe. I couldn't have done this conversation two and a half years ago. I couldn't walk 10, 15 yards without crashing. I came from England in 16 with my family, and we came from the National Health Service, supposed to be the best in the world. And here I am on this tiny little island in this amazing place called the QEH. The people in the QEH are incredible. From the minute you walk into the ER, to triage, to the you know day surgery, to CT, to scan, to x-ray, to the bloods, to everybody. Straight away I was a name and I was a person. I wasn't a number, I wasn't a file. I wasn't something that was gonna be put to one side and for whatever reason, not be seen again. And people were gonna do everything they could to make sure that I was looked after. So I am incredibly grateful.